Tesla's stock has well and truly gone to the moon over the past few days, meaning that the electric car company has hit the $1 trillion market cap for the first time in its history, joining big hitters like Apple, Amazon and Microsoft, meaning the Doge master himself, Elon Musk, is likely the richest person on the planet, being worth around about $255.2 billion, which means he's wealthier than Larry Page, the Google founder, and Mark Zuckerberg, the Facebook founder, combined. So in today's video, I'm going to explain why Tesla's stock has gone up by 12.66% in one trading day, hitting all new highs of $1,045. Hello people, I'm Jim. Welcome to the channel. I'm a property investor who's documenting my journey to financial freedom from my day job. I'll be breaking down everything to do with property investing, investing in general, and getting a better grip on your personal finances. So if you're like me and want to grow your wealth, then please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you know when I post new videos. The last few months has had lots of good news for Tesla and its shareholders, with the Tesla Model 3 becoming the best-selling vehicle across Europe. Not only the best-selling electric car, but the best-selling car altogether, which has to be a massive achievement for the business. With data being published by Jato Dynamics for September, stating that the Tesla Model 3 become the best-selling vehicle on the continent last month, selling 24,591, with the Renault Clio coming in second place, selling 18,264, showing they have a really strong footing in the market. But not only this, they're also dominating the electrical space, with the second best-selling electrical car after the Model 3 being the Model Y, selling 8,906. This foothold in Europe will become stronger and stronger as the Gigafactory in Berlin continues to ramp up production into 2022. Along with doing bits in Europe, Tesla is also making waves in China as well with Tesla announcing over the last few days that they've completed on a research and development center, along with a data center as well. This comes off the back of the Gigafactory in Shanghai as well. It is obvious Tesla wants to get a strong footing in the Chinese market, along with making the most of the talent in the country. With the head of software at Tesla commenting, as we started to build our first manufacturing facility in China, here in Shanghai, we grew our engineering team as well, to be a highly performant and self-sufficient team that soon will be recommending, designing, contributing improvements to the products. And the head of vehicle engineering also saying, these next steps in this building today is the first time overseas Tesla has all its engineering functions in one facility. Vehicle firmware, software, vehicle engineering, manufacturing, as well as materials, electrical and mechanical design right here. So this certainly shows Tesla are going big in China. The numbers are starting to back this up as well with Tesla reporting sales of $3.11 billion in China in Q3 of 2021, which is 48.5% of the $6.4 billion US sales during the same time frame, with this ratio being up from 41.4% a year ago and less than 10% in 2018. Not only this, but China's share of Tesla's overall sales rose to 22.6% in Q3, up from just under 20% a year ago, which shows good growth in the region, and the Shanghai factory is now starting to deliver cars to customers locally again after having to stop for a period during the pandemic. Now all of this going on in the background is really good news for Tesla shareholders like me. But the real reason why Tesla stock has gone to the moon is the recent news from Hertz. Hertz, if you did not know, are an American rental car company. Hertz is going to be ordering 100,000 vehicles to build its own electrical rental fleet by the end of 2022. From Hertz's point of view, this is a massive turnaround from just over 12 months ago where they were filing for bankruptcy during the height of the pandemic, as demand for travel and rental cars was non-existent. This deal, which is going to be worth a reported $4.2 billion, which is the largest purchase of electric cars in history, would mean that Hertz are paying around about $42,000 per Model 3 they purchase, which is really close to the list price. This in itself is actually quite odd, as normally when car rental companies make big purchases like this, they will demand a discount for the cars, but there is none of this happening here. This might be down to the fact that Tesla cars tend to hold their value pretty well, so they might have a high resale value down the line. But this is brilliant news, as this will give so many more people access to possibly driving a Tesla, which in turn should create more demand for the product. With Hertz customers having access to the Tesla supercharging network, and they might actually end up building their own charging infrastructure, which again would be fantastic news for Tesla. Not only this, but Hertz are also going big on marketing with this new deal with Tesla as they're going to rope in Tom Brady to be the face of the ads showcasing the new Teslas. So all of this means Tesla is going to cement its place as the go-to for electric cars, both for the individual and for large-scale operations like this one. 
Now, it's a goal of mine to be able to purchase a Tesla with internet money. So in order to help me get there, if you could subscribe to this channel, you're getting me one step closer. And also, if you're wondering why you should start investing right now, then please check out this video I made on the subject. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Cheers.